Welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm here today with two water activities. Children love to play with water and I know they're going to love these two activities. So all you need is a tub of water and a few random household items. Now the first activity is going to help them to learn the difference between objects that will float in water and the others that are going to sink. So let's begin with our first activity. So here I've taken a tub of water and let me see what do I have now. I have a spoon so I'm going to drop it in the water and we have to tell the child that's gone right in, it's fallen in. Now let's take a plastic fork. Well it's not going in. Even when we push it, it's coming up. It's not going in. They're going to have lots of fun trying to push it in. Next I have a balloon and this is the part the children love. They will try to push this in and it will keep popping up. They will try to push this in, it will keep popping up. Now I have another balloon. Now that balloon is filled with water. So let's ask them, if this balloon is floating, is this going to float? So let's try, but this has air, this has water. So what's happened? It's gone in. So this is basically the activity that we are going to do with our children and they can put as many things as they want. They can run around the entire house collecting objects and trying to see what are the things that sing and floats. Now once this is over, we'll remove all the items except the rubber band because we are going to do our next activity with that. During this activity, the child learns that even if he pushes certain things, which float will come up. So he cannot make them sink and the heavier objects, they sink. Now the second activity, we are just going to do an activity that will help with the motor movements. We are going to throw all the rubber bands on the water and try to pick it up with the straw. So let's get started. So for this activity, we need some rubber bands, so I'm going to put lots of rubber bands because some are going to float, some are going to sink. And we need a bowl and we need a straw. So all we have to do is pick up these rubber bands with the straw. Now we can pick it up one by one or we can go many at a time. It can be a game between two siblings, two friends, who can pick up as many rubber bands as possible. Mom and dad can play with the child and see in one minute who can pick up more rubber bands. So here we are done with this activity. Hope you liked both the water activities. And I hope your children are going to really have a great time doing these two activities. So are there any other ways that you play with water with your children? Do let me know. If you like my video, please hit the like button, share it with all your family and friends and subscribe to my channel. We'll be back again with more activities. Bye.